Hey growers, what if I told you that there is a device that lets you set the exact light output of your grow light, it displays the amount of light hitting your canopy, acts as a controller so you can turn the light on and off, set schedules, do a sunrise sunset effect, lets you connect up to 50 lights on a single device, operates on a decentralized mesh network, is controllable with your phone, and pretty much compatible with every single light on the market. Well, this little device does it all. Eric here from LED Grow Lights Depot. This time I'm switching it up from my typical LED grow light reviews and I want to show you this amazing product by Telos. It's called Growcast. In a nutshell, this device is a wireless lighting controller that displays PPF or total light output, PPFD or PAR as most people would call it, and wattage of your grow light or grow lights. It allows you to set up multiple lighting networks and define different rooms in which those lights operate. Within those rooms, you're able to change the intensity to define the PPFD that your plants require for different growth stages. Why is this significant? Well, first off, instead of using a dimming knob on your lights or a lighting controller that only displays percentages or wattage and guessing the amount of light hitting your plants, you can use a Growcast to display the light output and PPFD. Furthermore, you don't need to buy an expensive PAR meter to know how much light is hitting your plants. With a PAR meter, you would need to take several readings to get a partially accurate idea of how much light is being thrown onto your plants. With a Growcast, you can get an instant reading on the average PPFD across the canopy. Pretty cool. The Growcast is essentially lighting controller meets quantum sensor. Instead of reading the light output, it's calculating your setup and telling your fixture exactly how much light to emit. Now that you know what the Growcast is, let's get into a quick unboxing and I'll show you what's included with this device. Then I'll get this connected to a light and go through the app. I'll also compare the PAR and wattage on the device to the wattage readings and general PAR readings that I took in a 4x4 tent. Alright, let's get this unboxed. So you can see it comes in this nice packaging. Just gonna open it up. Alright, here it is. This is the Growcast and this is a mounting plate to connect it to the light or to attach it to the light. And here's a cord end, which will integrate with some lights, but not all lights. So that's why it comes with these um, other cables. So this first one I'm gonna pull out is an RJ adapter to connect the Growcast to a uh, light with an RJ port. I'm gonna check that out. And the second cord here is used to power the Growcast. Some lights will not power the Growcast, so you have to power it separately. And then this other one is another adapter and it also comes with some uh, literature on how to set this up. All right, and I'm gonna get this connected to the Scorpion Diablo. So I'm gonna connect the RJ11 Type 1 connector. And all I'm gonna do is plug this in. And that's it. And you can see it's blinking, which, is, uh, which means that it's ready to connect to Bluetooth. And it also has a few modes. So if I don't wanna use Bluetooth, I could manually operate it. So this is standby, 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100% intensity. In this next part, I'm gonna show you how to set up the Growcast via the app. So basically you're gonna open up the app, just name a network here. I'm gonna call this HLG Scorpion Diablo. Okay, then I'm gonna scan for lights. And there it is. I'm going to tap that to select it. And it's just going to take about a minute or so to connect. Just going to fast forward here. And it's all ready to go. All right, I'm going to configure the light. So I'm going to select my light brand. That's Horticulture Lighting Group. And select the light, which is Scorpion Diablo. Continue. And here's a profile that's already set up. Not all lights have a profile. There are a lot of lights in here, but sometimes you have to create a custom profile for a light. Okay, at this point, the light is pretty much ready to use. So you could just go into the light here and adjust the intensity on the screen, which is going to adjust the light output of the fixture. It's also gonna show you the wattage and the respective uh, PAR efficacy. You could also set up a schedule which I'm not gonna do, but just wanna show you that that is um, an option. Also, you can select sunrise sunset effect. You can apply that schedule. 
this is the coolest part. So you can set up rooms. So in this case, I have the light in a four x four grow tent. So I'm just gonna name the room four x four grow tent. Gonna put the room length and width in meters. In this case, it's a four x four tent. And I'm gonna select the material. So shiny or yeah, mylar diamond. Okay, so now everything is set up and I'm able to add the light to the room. And if you have multiple lights, you can add all those lights to your room that you have set up, whether that's a four by four tent or larger. And now I can go into the room and basically change the intensity. And this is gonna tell me the PPFD or the total amount of light hitting the plants. You could also see the wattage, the efficacy and the total light output. So this is one of the strongest features of this controller. I'm also able to manually type in the PPFD. So for example, I'm gonna delete this here and I'm gonna type in 500 PPFD. Now the light is gonna adjust the intensity to uh, put out 500 PPFD onto the plant or say 200 PPFD. And you can see how the wattage efficacy and total PPF changes down below. Or you know, say 950 PFD and the light intensity will adjust to, uh, to make that happen. All of this is great, but I wanted to know how accurate the grow cast is. To get an idea of its accuracy, I took some wattage and par readings at 50%, 75%, and 100% intensity. Let's take a look at those now. This first readings at 50% intensity were, were at 338 watts, which is pretty much exactly what the um, controller is saying. So I'm just going to move this around. It uh, looks like the average PVFD should be right around 582 according to the app and just moving this around, it looks like we're probably right around there. So it looks to be pretty accurate. And this next one is at 75% intensity, about 519 watts, which is you know a few watts just above what the app says. And the average PPFD in this space uh, should be about 872, according to the app. And as I'm moving it around, you can see that we're um, you know getting pretty close to that range. And this last one's at 100% intensity. The wattage looks to be pretty much right on and it should be about 1,163 PPFD. And as I move this around, you can see that uh, these numbers are gonna change quite a bit, but I would say it's probably right around 1,100 plus PPFD, um, mostly looking at the edges and corners here. So the readings are gonna be a bit lower, but yeah, it looks to be uh, pretty accurate. So overall, the Telos Growcast is a powerful controller that takes the guesswork out of knowing how much light is coming out of your fixtures or how much light is actually hitting your plant's canopy. This really is a game changer. So how much is this device? Well, the Growcast is $159.95 with free shipping in the lower 48 states. If you think you and your grow would benefit from the Growcast, check it out via the link in the description. Like this video if you think the Growcast is an awesome product and subscribe if you are not a subscriber already for all things LED grow lights and related content. Till next time.